I just came to a realization today that maybe the number one problem I have with sales funnels is that it artificially tries to move people along a particular path when they may or may not be ready yet. And so I no longer have a sales funnel that I manage um, and I don't use systems such as Infusionsoft or Entreport. I honestly think most people sign on to those systems way too early. They end up paying hundreds of dollars a month unnecessarily and they could have spent that money more wisely um, so to actually grow their business rather than to have an unnecessary expense. So what do, I what do I recommend instead of having a sales funnel that you're managing? Now I'm talking to those of you who are service providers who want to make a true livelihood, who want to keep your business simple rather than complex, who want to be able to make a, a good living, um, coaching, con counseling, consulting, teaching what you love, right? So what I recommend is instead of a sales funnel that you create a, a pathway that you don't have to consciously uh, move people through, but that they themselves move, they, they move themselves through it organically at their own pace. So for example, my pathway is very simple. I have consistent, um, I hope authentic, and I hope relevant content that I share for free. You know that because you're watching this video right now. Um, and I, so I do this, you know, a couple times a week. And it's easy for me to do. I'm here walking my dog, Buddy. I don't know if you can see him right there. I mean, we're, we're on a regular walk and I just pull out the phone. I had this idea, wanted to share it with you. And I'm sure you have ideas too in your field of expertise that you could share with your audience. Little tips here and there that you think may be obvious to you or maybe it's a breakthrough for you, but you share it anyway so that you can maybe benefit others as well. So that's the first part of the pathway. And then after that, some people decide to go to my website. They might look at some of the archived content that I have, but they also discover that I have online workshops that I run every month, very affordable on a variety of interesting topics. So they sign on to the one that they're interested in and they come to the workshop. Most of them love it. And um, after that, they may say, gosh, I want to work more with George because I want George's in-depth customized expertise into my business. So then they go back to my website and find that they that I provide one-on-one -on -one services. And so they contact me about that. And so what, ever since I have done this very natural organic pathway that is an alternate to a sales funnel, it's worked amazingly well. And so I don't know, I no longer think about, gosh, I got to follow up with so-and-so. It's been six months since I've contacted them. I better reach out to them and say, Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you know, I, I used to do that, I'll tell you this, and it never was very effective. And so I really encourage you to create consistent, authentic, relevant content and have some lower priced offerings so that people can, can try you out at those levels before they then try you out at higher priced levels. So if you do that on a consistent basis, you don't need the the artificial feeling of a sales funnel and that kind of relationship with your audience. Does that make sense? So I hope this is helpful. Always open to your comments and your questions. And until the next video, I wish you an authentic, organic feeling business that serves the world and that allows you to thrive. Be well.